Oh, hey everybody, I'm Jason Holcomb, afternoon announcer at KMRS KKOK, and March is upon us, and you know, March has several things going for it, beginning of spring, including the 2023 KMRS KKOK Spring Expo coming up March 17th and the 18th, March 17th, by the way, St. Patrick's Day, it also has March Madness, hope, uh, best of luck with all your brackets out there, and also we're getting closer and closer to opening day for baseball. That's what I'm super excited about. For me, the thing I always uh, note every time this time of year for March, March 15th, is actually an historical day, the Ides of March. And in ancient Rome, the Ides were the day of the month dedicated to Jupiter, who was the uh, top Roman god, and so there was a big religious festival, and stuff like that, but this day became synonymous with betrayal and a big change in the history of Rome forever because this was the day that Julius Caesar was assassinated. Before Rome became a republic and before Rome became an empire, it was a king, and then the republic overthrew the king, and then they became weary of anybody being in charge with all the power going to his head and taking over everything, except in the times of national emergency. Here's a, a fact that a lot of people might not know. Back in Rome, dictator was actually a, an official government title during a time of national emergency. He would be a general who would take over uh, affairs for the republic for six months or more uh, during a national emergency, say a major war. And so uh, they would have powers, just not forever. And then Julius Caesar, famous Roman general, decided to uh, cross the Rubicon, another famous expression, the point of no return. Julius Caesar decided he wanted to be dictator for life, and he did so in 45 BC. One year later, in 44 BC, on March 15th, in the Senate, er, in the Senate building, a group of senators, including Julius Caesar's good friend Brutus, decided to kill him. Yep, they stabbed him, and they thought that, hey, we got rid of the dictator wannabe, dictator for life wannabe, the Republic should be back to normal. Well, it didn't work out that way, because um, Julius Caesar was very popular with the common folks, and they were upset with that, and also, not only that, there was a power vacuum between uh, certain generals of Caesar that led to a civil war for decades, and then that finally led to the first Roman emperor in about... 15 BC around that time. So it's a big day in Roman history, not only because it was the day, infamously a day of betrayal by uh, the most powerful man in the world at the time, but also it just for it for unforeseen circumstances changed the world forever. So I'm not like superstitious, like I can't be around my friends on the 15th. No, I just go be like, hey, don't betray me or anything like that, or don't. If you're gonna be, if you're gonna play a joke on me, make sure it's not like life shattering like Caesar did. <laughs> As a history buff, I always find these uh, days in history pretty fascinating. So, the Ides of March is, um, you know, always comes to mind, and I hope everyone, uh, regardless of how March 15th goes for you, I hope everyone has a fantastic start to March in general. Okay, take care. Hope you enjoyed that little trivia tidbit. Peace, everybody. Bye.